Hello all, welcome back to the to the Riaz Pal series of Harmonium Learning. Uh, this is the fifth video. In in this video, we are going to cover the finger placements and how to intelligently think about finger placements. And at the end of this video, we'll go back a little bit to the Yaman scale that I played in the earlier video, and I'll play uh, you know few things for you that you can watch how my fingers move. So let's go and see the the how you how you place the fingers. So as you can see. The two fingers that are most important while playing harmonium is going to be the thumb and going to be the ring finger, this one. Why? Because if you place, the moment you place thumb anywhere, you got a range uh, on the upper side, as much as you can go. The moment you place your ring finger anywhere, you got the bottom range. So depending on where exactly you want to go, you want to go this way or you want to go that way, you want to choose the right finger. Uh, it's not as difficult as it sounds and you'll get better as you as you play a little more for example if i want to play sare ga ma ga re sa so i want to go to ma and i want to come back one way of playing this is 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 like this again But is this the optimal way? So clearly not, because you are going to mer and you know that you want to come back. So there is no reason for you to use this finger on mer. In fact, since you know you are going to actually make a U-turn and you want to come back, you do want to use the ring finger like this. Notice how little my hand moves while playing this phrase. I'm easily coming back without much trouble. <clears throat> so many times students ask me question, my thumb, should I always use it on, on the on the on the white keys or can I use it on the black keys as well? The answer is yes, you can use it on the black keys, but it depends. It's easier to use the thumb on the white keys. But sometimes there is no choice. For example, if you want to play Sare Gapa Dhasa, which is the hoop scale, for example. You have no choice but to go, uh, but to use your thumb on a black scale like this. For instance, if you want to play sa re ga pa dha sa and re ga, all the way. Again, you start from sa, re ga pa dha sa, and you want to continue on, and you want to go re and ga. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't use. The, the the thumb on the black key, what happens? Here it is. And now you are completely stuck. You might be able to play Re, but at this point, that sixth finger does not exist. So you have to do something. So what to do now? So the solution lies in using the thumb like this. This is the only way you can play this. There is no other way of playing it. Again. For example, the famous song. I'll play a little bit of that. Pankh hote to udhati re. One more time. So here I had to use the thumb. Without using the thumb here, it's impossible to play. So that's one thing to remember. The second thing, again people ask, can I use my, my pinky? Again pinky does not have much force, we all know that. So the answer is yes, you can use pinky, you should use pinky and you should actually plan on getting a little bit more strength in the pinky. For example, like this. Sare gama padha ni dha pama garesa. That's what I'm going to play. Again, I can play it, play the knee with thumb, but that will mean I'm moving my hand more than necessary, like this. Again, 
I can't play it fast because I have to keep on moving the thumb between ga and ni and there is no reason to do that. So for example <laughs> So that's where you can actually use the pinky. In subsequent videos, we are going to show you some exercises that will you know, help you create a little bit of strength in the pinky. Initially when you play, you will notice that the note that you play with pinky hardly plays at all. In fact, it will first time it may not make any sound at all. But don't worry, keep on playing. Eventually there will be enough strength to actually play it without much, uh, much worry whether it will sound or not. Again like this. So that's how the pinky will play. So we did talk about you know using thumb, we did talk about using pinky. These three no these three fingers are quite useful as well. And as you can see, the first finger typically has the most strength, and you want to actually use it as much as you can. Don't don't do something like this. See the problem here? What I have done is my first finger, I like put put it on the side and it's of no use here. If I want to play anything, I have to bring it back. So all your fingers should be close to the harmonium so that you can play them, play the note when you want to play. Don't put anything back up or this way, like this. So that's how you, you should play the harmonium, close to the harmonium. Keep you, want, you don't want to move your hands or fingers unnecessarily. So you have seen all that. Now I'll go back and play the Yemen scale that I played at the end of the last uh, last video and I'll play a little bit of song and see how my fingers move. <laughs> Again, the scale of the Yaman is all notes Shuddha with Tivra Madhyam. At this point in time, we will not worry about how Rag Yaman goes. That will be a topic for some other video. But right now, I will play a song. Thank you very much.